What is going on my fellow warriors? It's Muso Prince here with another episode of One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. And today, I finally arrived at the Summit War Arc, where it seems like we're actually starting on the Sabaody Archipelago, strangely enough. And from the looks of things, seems like we're gonna get a chance to play as the Supernovas. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this. Sabaody Archipelago now trembles because of an incident with Luf which Luffy caused. The supernovas there all have their own ulterior motives. If I remember correct, if I remembered correctly, I think it was Luffy attacking a celestial dragon. That was the issue. Oh yeah, they're just skipping over freaking Thriller Bark. Hate him. <laughs> he's probably gonna be. He's probably gonna be a cut character who's gonna be a DLC. Won't hold it against Koei. Oh, there's another person who I think is just gonna be added. Really though, I do feel like that three of the nine DLC is pros is possibly going to be Eneru. Kuma and Moria, just because those were the only big villains that were cut between the whole Alabasta and East Lobby and Marine Ford pre time skip arcs. So I feel like they're unfortunately going to be a part of the DLC of one of the DLC packs. I'm guessing it's going to be the first one. I mean, hell, I'm still probably going to get it, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a horrible, I'm a horrible fan. <laughs> I, I legit just complain about how I don't like how they do things, but yet I'm still going to do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I am a, tr I am a trash fan. No, Hachan! Yeah. As one should do, because I freaking hate the Celestial Dragons, and every time I think about them, I keep forgetting that Doff Flamingo was one of them. Or at least a descendant of one of them, I, I, I think. I don't know if he's an official Celestial Dragon, all I know is that he has Celestial Dragon blood running through his veins. Oh, guys. Thank you! Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> yes! Gimme kid. I I've already played Law in the previous game enough. I need to play as kid. Ooh, okay, where is this guy? Searching... I, will, I do admit, this is kind of interesting to at least telescope the stage that we're going to be playing on, but, like, I wish that they had a more interesting video game like they had in those, in the Dragon Ball Z Budokai games. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's the, it's the interactive loading cutscenes, because I remember, like, one was a, um, I remember one was a, um, uh, was, like, Vegeta doing push-ups, another one was you, like, rapidly pressing buttons to have Gohan pull out the Z-Sword and things like that. Yeah. Oh, I remember one of the most entertaining ones was just the... It was just the, the Spirit Ball minigame on loading screen with... So, uh, I was about to say a freaking One Piece character from Dragon Ball. I meant Yamcha. Yamcha. Where you freaking use the right analog stick to hit the Spirit Ball against bricks. And I, I just find myself always captivated by that loading screen. And like... It kept me occupied by the time it's by the time the game loads up. So, yeah. Note to f note to game developers: make interactive loading screens. It makes the loading screens a lot less tedious to wait through. Budokai Dragon Ball Z Budokai knew what it was doing. Yeah, usually when I talk through cutscenes like that, I just put on autoplay just in case. Yeah, 
Oh, I'm putting it on autoplay for a second because I forgot to do something on my phone prior to this episode. Gotta put the freaking timer on so that I don't end up going past the limit. Alright, here I go. Oh yes, in law, the bromance is real between those two. Alright, Marine Siege broken. Any of Supernova Pirates defeated. Uh, yeah, yeah, defeat the Marine Commanders and Company. Now, um, yeah, as some of you guys may have noticed, I did do a, I did do a little bit of the story off screen. Only because I mainly really, really wanted to get some of the coins that I needed in order to upgrade people for the treasure log because I'm lo I was looking at the treasure log stuff and I'm just like, I can't upgrade these characters any further. So, um, yeah, so don't worry. I'm still recording the episodes in order for you guys, thankfully. I just went a little bit on ahead for grinding sake, so, so to say, so to speak. <laughs> huh. Um, I just got a new move. Gathers metal fragments to form a tower in front before using repulsion to fracture the tower and scatter metal fragments. Ooh, okay. Um, I really like the absorbability. Um, yeah, I'm gonna replace I'm gonna replace vortex with cylinder. Let's see. Um, since he's power, I'd like my I'd like my triangle attack enhancement. Where's the one that allows me to... Yes, makes enemy territories easier to capture. My man. And then where's the berry one? There it is. Alright, cool. Let's do this. Ooh. Yeah, um, for your guys' sake, I actually, like, for your guys' sake and my sake as well, I actually skipped the cutscenes while I was doing this off-screen, so I actually don't know what any of the cutscenes are doing right now. Jesus, Drake looks so freaking cool. <laughs> Did he just do a yada yada? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was only uh, I thought that was only uh, reserved for the ultimate of JoJo characters. That is legit cool that that freaking Al Capone looking guy is a castle. And Jesus Hawkins. Oh my god, that looks so freaking cool. But, um, the side effect of having to use his abilities, though, that's even more scary. But I, I'm not gonna lie, I really do like the fact that that one of my favorite pirates in actual history is represented in this series being Captain Kid. The fact that Kid is in this anime series and is actually in this game makes me so freaking happy because of how much I like the in real life version of him. Alright, let me just get my big arms. Let's go. <laughs> this is so freaking insane. I, I already gushed a lot about kids' moveset, but I, I still can't get over the fact that you're just bum-rushing people with giant metal arms. His polarity fruit ability is so cool. Out of my way, poison punks! I got some marines to smash up. Oh, I'll give Law a hand in a moment, he's good. Mother, mother, mother. Mother, mother. 
<laughs> I did not know Genji was in this game. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> just because I laugh at my own jokes does not mean anything. I'm just a very upbeat guy. Unless you've seen epi unless you've seen my rage episodes, then um I'm usually a happy-go-lucky guy, unless just the way how people play and just certain people's play styles really just tick me off. And if you guys want any kind of hindrance about what kind of play styles I don't like, you guys can just take a look at that um at that episode. I think it, I think I actually called the episode of uh, like. It's something like Prince Hates Randos or something like that. It was it was an episode where I was playing with Tissif, uh, Bracconi, and Chrono. So it's it's one of those episodes. I remember I was Kuzenbo, I, I think. But yeah, shame, shameless little plug-in in the middle of one of my Warriors playthroughs. But yeah, and, um, and I'm trying to, um, like, at the moment of this recording, I still haven't uploaded all of my, uh... Well, I mean, I'm sure by then I'll pro. I mean, yeah, at this point I sh I should definitely have my Pirate Warriors 3 playthrough done, but not sure if I'll have my Gintama stuff done at this point. We'll we'll see in future. We'll see with me in future editing. I'll I'll say if it's done or not in future editing, and I'll just be like, yeah, idiot, pass me. <laughs> All right, that's taken care of. One more marine to go. Yeah, so like this game is kind of going like the Smash Bros route in terms of in terms of their o of their uh, OST. Cuz of course there are there are like new remixes for this game for certain stages, but then there are just like other stages like um like the I want to live track for Annie's lobby and that that's I believe that that version of uh, I want to live is actually from the first game so I mean it sounds like it is granted it's not as cool as the third game's one but I still freaking like it there's a reason why it's my favorite sound why it's my favorite soundtrack piece in any of the games Friggin' dual Laria, Jesus, kid. Oh, hello. Oh, I wanted to see what that cluster ability does now that I'm thinking about it. What the? Ah, okay. I knew that's. I knew that was the move that I had to use. All right, because it said repulse in the, I in the move description, and I was like, wait, is that a single triangle move? Okay, come on. When are the guys gonna get here? Oh, they are. Okay, they just got here. <laughs> freaking flying. And then give me it back. And then fire it again. <laughs> oh, I am so gonna have fun with this play style. Ooh, pacifista! Please don't ruin my combos, Law. I already had I already had enough of that of Luffy from the previous stages. Just just please let me do my thing. Alright, give me some big arms and give me a bigger arms. Oh, 
Oh no, 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 no. Oh, lasers. No, I'm not going down like this. Come here, pacifista. But yeah, it's the fact that they have an NPC like the pacifista in Kuma's liking that there's no way. There's no way that Kuma is not going to be one of the DLC characters. I'm I'm already calling it right now. Pack one is going to be Aneru, Kuma, and Moria. Just watch. Just watch. I, I hope that it does not I hope that this does not get announced. Like at this point it has not been announced on who the DLC characters are, but I'm calling it right now that it's going to be those three in the first pack. And again, if, if I'm right, I'm going to have my future self in editing going, HA! Now that stage didn't actually take long. I think we might actually be able to do the next stage after the... Yeah, we got plenty of time. Holy crap. I think that was like 10? 10, 10, 15 minutes? I, I guess? Yeah, so let's just go right on to the next one. We actually get to play as the Straw Hat crew. So, break through the siege, Sabo, the Archipelago, and Uproar. The Straw Hat Pirates have been besieged by the Navy. They join forces with the Supernovas who find themselves in the same predicament to find a way off the island. Yeah, give me Sanji. Oh, I just wish these loading screens were so much fast. Oh, okay, I found the guy over there, but again, I just, I wish, like, is there a button that we can press with the, yeah, because there's like, yeah, there's like no reason of like, there's no way of saying, hey, we found him. <laughs> oh yeah, he's right there. おレイリー。and see, Rayleigh has an actual in-game model now, so... And, and this, is my ne this is my next guess. I think Rayleigh will be a part of a DLC pass. I don't know which one it'll be, but I have a feeling they may make him playable. あれでこの大海賊時代は意図してロジャーが作ったみてえだな。そこはまだ答え <笑> <laughs> yeah, that's what's in that's what's interesting about Luffy. Even though he's given the chance to actually like know the location of One Piece, it just doesn't mean anything to him anymore if he can just straight up know that. Right right off the bat. He is all about the adventure, and that's kinda why I do like Luffy as a main character. At least compared to some other main characters that I've seen from animes. I mean, I mean, I love Naruto, and I love Naruto as a main character too, but like, I've seen some pretty crappy MCs of shonen animes. And, and I wouldn't say that they're like bad or anything, but they're not as good as some other ones that I have really seen. Like, some really good MC characters, other than Luffy, of course. Like, I love Inuyasha. Inuyasha was my gateway anime, and I just fell in love with the ensemble cast in that anime. And I think Inuyasha is a really, really cool character. 
really cool concept and a really cool goal that he or just development arc that he has what with being a half demon just in all of that and like use k is also a really good mc from yu yu hakusho um oh veroni kenshin from samurai x like yes kenshin himura from veroni kenshin or samurai x if you live in japan that's, yeah, it's really, <laughs> that is a cool character. I kind of wish the anime went past, um, I kind of wish the anime went past the whole, um, oh, geez, what was that burnt up guy's name again? But, but the arc that that guy is a part of, I wish they went past that, because I've read manga issues of the arcs after that, and it looked really cool, and I just heard that the anime just stopped after that one certain arc, and I'm, I was a little disappointed, because... <laughs> Because I'm, I'm like Bleach, like I read some of the new stuff from Bleach, like after the Eisen arc that wasn't animated yet, and hey, surprise, hey, the Bleach anime is going to be coming back, so yay. But um, like I read the manga, but just for some reason it didn't really interest me, like the whole Quincy arc, because we've been led to believe that like the entire Quincy race has been, well, killed pretty much, and the only one left alive was Ishida. And then all of a sudden, like, like I can forgive them... Like a like a ragtag group of Quincy's that are still alive, and a lot of them being rather strong Quincy's, but like, but like still like a like a civilization amount of them. I heard that's what I heard. And then like, ah, uh, just the whole thing about like one of the things that just really made me a little disappointed in in that arc for Bleach. Was because of um what happened. Well, just another thing that was revealed about um. It was just another thing that was revealed about uh, Ichigo about one of his heritages and, well, at least his heritage on his mother's side. And I'm just like, are you freaking kidding me? Because like already, because like yeah, he was born a human, but he also had the blood of the Shini of the Shinigami inside of him from his father, and he's also a visored. And then I heard what he had on his mother's side, and I'm just like, okay, even I have to admit, that's a bit too much for, like, just coherence. Like, did he really, did he really have to have that, that relate, did he have to really have that race relation on his mother's side to make him what he is? Because I know some of you guys are like, what the hell is he talking about? But you bleach people... You Bleach people know what I'm talking about. What relation that he has through his mother. That was one of the things I didn't actually like. But hey, I'm still excited to see what they're going to do after the Aizen arc with, with the continuation of the Bleach anime. But yeah, it's just anime characters like those. Just MCs like that that I could just enjoy and really want to root for. So yeah, alright, back to the gameplay, guys. Sorry I talked your ear off during that whole thing. I mean, hey, I could still probably do it during gameplay. I mean, I mean, yeah, with the cutscenes, you guys have the cutscenes, and with the gameplay, yeah, it's not that entertaining. I mean, at least uh, that is something I will always say about the Dynasty Warriors games, and why I've oh, and why I've kind of been a little hesitant in doing playthroughs of it because, yes, when you're watching a Dynasty Warriors game, it does not look that interesting unless someone does commentating on that, but. That's why I tried to do a little bit of a twist with my with my playthrough on Dynasty Warriors 3, just with a little just with a little like comments I make in it in the style of the game itself. Just something quote unquote cute that I wanted to do with it. But yeah, like I, I know yeah, it does get kind of uh, redundant, of course, watching it, and it's it's definitely a series that you should play more of. At least in relevance to like yeah, I, I I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, I think I, I don't know. I mean, you you guys let me know if I'm just rambling or something like that. Which even though I probably think I am. All right, so Kid and Law temporarily retreat to hide themselves. All right, what's next? All right, head to Sabaody Park. All oh, right, this is where everyone has is trying to like get away and stuff like that. All right. All right, I'm just gonna make a straight line, and I'm just gonna be attacking. Got. I'm just gonna. 
attack anyone that just gets in my way. Yeah, I'm just get, blow, pushing on through. Let's freaking go, guys. Just pushing on through. Just get out of my way. Ah, oh, so oh, okay, pacifista. Let's go. Flambage Chateau! No, I'm not. I'm not giving you a. I'm not giving you the least bit of respite. Nope. You go down. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, look at that freaking. Oh no! It's Kizaru. I love that little animation they have with his transponder snail watch now. And, okay, I gotta listen to what uh, Whitebeard's and Kizaru's new VA, new VA sound like, and hey, I think they do a pretty good job. Yes, it's not the original guys, but I think that they are at least good, su at least good successors, and I, I heard that the guy who does Kizaru is the same guy that does um, Crocodile, and I'm just like, damn, that guy's got a good... That guy's got, got a good range in terms of doing different kinds of characters. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard Kizuru, I'm just like, wait, didn't they say that the guy was dead? At least for that part? And... Yeah, that I was actually, like, taken back at how close Crocodile's VA sounded to Kizuru's old VA. So I'm just happy that they at least did that right, in my opinion. Jeez, I gotta help Nami real quick. Da, get out of my way! Make way! Ah, there's Pacifista. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> what was it that little Mario Hoppy did? Oh my god, I was actually locked on to him the whole time? Okay. Alright, let me finish up this area here. More Kuma blocked the escape of supernovas. Jesus, this move! <laughs> oh, that move is so freaking good. I gotta go help the supernovas real quick. Oh, there's Frankie and Robin. I forgot if they run into trouble, but my guess is yes. And I was right. <laughs> ah, lasers! They hurt my soul! Three point deck about. Oh, I keep doing it. Yes. Don't worry, Frankie. I'll be with you in a second. Just gotta help the other supernovas real quick. Oh no, he's just moving to them. Oh, what the? Jesus, how long have I been in this form again? I forgot I even activated it. 
Yeah, get out of here. Jeez, I still have not taken this area yet. Jeez, I just look like a freaking Gatling gun with my legs when I'm doing that in my speed, in my powered up mode. It's freaking ridiculous. Oh, Pacifista! And I saw that other Pacifista was still there and didn't like... Ah, oh, Drake, you look so freaking cool. He's freaking so much bigger than the Pacifista! That's ridiculous! Oh, great, another one? I forgot how many of these guys appear in this stage. <gasps> he knocked me out of my he knocked me out of my move the bastard uh oh no lasers no die die no he knocked me out of it again Yes! Alright, alright, alright. Well, that one's still after Zoro. Kids in trouble now? Alright. No, don't miss, you stupid cook! Oh, I got him. I'm sorry I called you a stupid cook, Sanji. Alright, now to save Zoro and Kid. Yay, Drake owes me. I just passed. I just passed law. C uh, screw it. I'm just going to go help the others real quick. You can hold on for a moment, law. They've been waiting on me for a while. Oh jeez, Kizuru is really freaking close to him. No, oh, just die, 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 die. Muda, 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 muda. Alright, Zoro's taken care of. Now I just gotta help Kid. I mean, not Kid. Um, gotta help Law and hope that Kizuru doesn't decide to do a little loop de loop around that area. Probably just speed kick me right into a mountain or something. I don't know. That's kind of my luck if I was in this universe. Oh, I gotta hurry over there as soon as I help Law. The man with the strongest guard in the world. <laughs> now you see, like, I look at I look at how Kizuru acts, and I. I just, I'm just like, how the heck did this guy not get the lazy, how did this guy not get the lazy justice icon and Aokiji did? I mean, I know Aokiji is kind of lazy too, but, but when I hear about like the foggy justice, I'm like, it seems like someone who's, who's like, who like feels a little unsure about what the moral boundary should be as being an, as being a Marine. I feel like Aokiji has that a lot more that, like, I, I just feel like that. 
Aokiji's and Kizuru's stuff should be swapped. That's it. Yay, he did the thing! Most OP ability, most OP ability in the series. Fight me. Law has the most OP ability in the series. I don't care what anyone says. Okay, uh, actually, that is a hard statement. Let me rephrase that. He has the most OP Potamicia ability, in my opinion. Yes, Teaches is very scary, but hey, when you see what Law can do with the room, oh my god, yeah. I, that's a lot more scary to me than freaking, than freaking Blackbeard's Dark Dark Fruit, man. Alright, he's down. Get him, Zoro! Yes. Oh, kid really does care. Ah, Sento, stop it. Bad boy, enough. Let me kick you in peace. You know, Sento Maru being Kizaru's nephew and and Kizaru being an admiral, I'm guessing nepotism doesn't exist in the One Piece world. Nope, none for you. None for you, glitter boy. Jeez, freaking Loki users. You see, Loki users has always been annoying as heck to fight in these games, but they are really difficult to fight in this one. Like, Jesus, I thought I'd despise Logia users in Pyro Warriors 3, but they have been taken up to a whole new level in this game. And yes, I beat him. No! Yes, Rayleigh to the rescue. Retreat! Yeah, see what I mean? Doesn't he, isn't he a bit more deserving of the title of Lazy Justice than Aokiji? Lady 
無事に撤退できたかと思われたその時一味の前に本物のバーソロミュークマが立ちふさがった旅行するならどこへ行きたいクマの人気の海の力により抵抗むなしくじりじりに飛ばされていく仲間たち Jeez, the fact that he could send someone as big as, like, Monster Chopper in just one swipe, I'm like, yeah, so it just happens if he can just touch you. Jesus. That, that is also terrifying. That's, like, on my top... It's like, on my... Kuma's abilities are, like, top ten on my most feared Devil Fruit abilities to encounter. イズコカへと飛ばされるグランドラインシャボンディ諸島12番グローブこの日船長モンキー・ディ・ルフィ率いる海賊団麦わらの一味は完全崩壊を喫したほほー Yes! A rank! Sorry, I got a Text from Tissif about something. <laughs> okay, so I think I was able to get two stages in. Not bad. I think, I think that's enough. Like, I feel like there's gonna be another cutscene after this, or not? Is there? Is there? Is there not? Anyways, I think I got. A, I think I got enough footage in there for this episode. Yeah, yeah. That's that's all for this episode. It looks like next time we're gonna be going straight to the Marine Ford area. So. Yeah, with yeah, so I that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Later, guys.